Coming up next, Lebanese restaurant Simsum is opening branches in the United States. An exclusive interview when we return. FFA Private Bank, leading private bank and investment bank in the MENA region, held a press conference for the launch of the Simsum U.S. private placement on March 10th. Simsum is a Lebanese restaurant with a modern twist, offering traditional and modern recipes. But since its establishment in 2008, it has expanded with branches in Lebanon and franchises in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, with additional restaurants scheduled to open soon in Oman and the UAE. We started a long time ago. I was obviously two years old uh, when we started Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, that even if Lebanon is small, we were able to make a big impact. And we got every award you can think of in the Dunkin' world. The, uh, we had first the gold medal and the challenge of excellence. So we were the number one franchisee worldwide. We had brand building awards. Our coffee strategy was used in, across all countries in the world. And finally, uh, we got the Pathfinder Award. It was given only to two companies, Lebanon and South uh, Korea, uh, and it wa it's given to companies that have made a difference in the way Dunkin' Donuts operates globally. So this really gives an impression of what a small country is able uh, to do. And uh, Simpson started uh, five years ago, and here also we were able to grow quite rapidly. In 2011, it was the fastest growing Lebanese company. Uh, we, we were able to do outstanding number in Jeddah and Kuwait, and will uh, be soon in other markets as well. And we're really ready to go after the biggest market in the world. With us today to discuss the opening of the branches in the United States is Business Development Manager at Simsum, Mrs. Kedin Aswad. Welcome, Kedin. Hi, Yumna. Thanks for having me. Kedin, I want to know why the United States? Well, as Christine mentioned yesterday, it's a $660 billion market. And we're targeting a very specific and very dynamic market or segment in it, which is the fast casual. So just as a reference, uh, over the past 10 years, the top 100 chains in that segment grew by 13% each year. So we think that there's an untapped potential for a Lebanese dominant player, and we're more than happy to, to jump in. You know, a lot of people have been talking about this because the economy is unstable in the country. A lot of businesses in Lebanon have, are expanding regionally. Is this also part of the, is this a reason why you may be also expanding to the United States? Well, as of day one, uh, the goal of Simsum was to share the Lebanese cuisine and the Lebanese traditions. So as of day one, we were thinking about expanding and opening a new market. Now, obviously, the Lebanese situation is forcing us to go a bit uh, quickly and fast and to try and reach as many opportunities as possible very quickly. Do you think Simsum offers, what's Simsum's competitive edge? What do you think it's going to offer in the United States? Because there are already other Lebanese restaurants, so how does yours differ from what is already there? Well, I think, first of all, the concept itself differs. Le uh, Simsum is not any traditional re Lebanese restaurant. It's a Lebanese restaurant with a twist. So we always try to have this little extra something in our recipes that really makes a difference. And in addition to that, we're not trying to be just another Lebanese store with one or two stores. We're really setting up for scale as of day one. That means trying to understand our customer, uh, really refining and tweaking the concept to make sure that you're addressing their needs to, to their best, to our best. I know this because I've talked uh, with you uh, behind the scenes. You were a consultant at the Boston Consulting Group, and you told me that you're looking to open the first branches in Manhattan, which is, I'm guessing, a pretty good idea considering it's a very cosmopolitan place. Can you tell me how your expertise as a consultant is going to play with this new entrepreneurship that you're getting into right now? Of course. I mean, the experience at BCG is definitely invaluable. Uh, opening a restaurant is a lot of day-to-day -day operational uh, follow-up, but opening a chain of restaurants is really about uh, being able to lead the company in a cycle of growth and expansion. And I think having the background I have in uh, operational excellence and strategic planning and all the, the different domain I got to work in as a consultant will definitely be extremely helpful. Okay. What does it take to open a restaurant, would you say? Um, I think... Um, it takes a lot of drive, a lot of passion, because you're going to have a lot of impediments along the way. I think it takes a lot of humility to understand where you have gaps and identify the partners that can actually help. 
I think uh, to open a restaurant in the state or to open a chain, it requires funding. That would be my number three. So having the right funding as of day one to, uh, to scale quickly. And finally, I'd say it requires guts. <laughs> and I come from a family where we were taught to dream big and not to be afraid of our uh, we, dreams. So we have to mention that Mrs. Christine Sfer is actually your older sister, the CEO of Dunkin' Donuts here in Lebanon and of Simsim as well. You mentioned funding, and in my introduction, I mentioned that the FFA private bank uh, was hosting the conference yesterday where you introduced this uh, new operation. Can you tell me how the funding is going to take place? Well, FFA has been extremely supportive. Uh, it was more than just a private bank. It's really a partner that has been helping us find the appropriate partners to fund this project. It's a two-phase funding. So it's a $6 million project that will be, uh, the $6 million will be raised in two phases. And uh, we're starting with a $4 million that will uh, allow us to open 20 own restaurants and 40 franchises until tw by 2020. So you said that it wouldn't start right away with just one uh, one store, you would have to open four or five. Can you just explain why that would have to be the, the technique? I think uh, to open a very successful chain in the US, you have to better understand the market. Uh, there's four reasons to having a great funding, where funding can actually help. First of all, it allows you to uh, know the market better, to prepare better, so to have, to take the time and to really talk to the right person to, uh, to develop and to adjust. Uh, it's about also taking the time to, talking, to talk with customers, so having a lot of focus group and uh, adapting your recipes. Funding allows you to grow quickly, so you can actually uh, offset the cost of a central structure. And finally, uh, and this is something I think 99% of our competitors don't do, so they really uh, skip on this preparation phase, whereas we're really taking the, the time to do it. And finally, I think the, the fourth thing that we, we are allowed to do by having the appropriate funding is to send people from the MENA region, including myself, to support the project and to make sure that we, we're going to do the best we can. You were telling me this is going to open in November or December of this year? We're planning to open by end of year. There's a lot of uh, uncertainty to the exact date, obviously, because there's a lot of permitting and, and uh, location issues, but uh, we're definitely opening by the end of the year. So if, I, if I'm in Manhattan around the holidays, I'll definitely make sure to give you a ring and join you for a Simpson dinner. Please do. Please All right. do. We'll be happy to have you. Thank you for being with us today. That was the business development manager at Simpson, Ms. Kadeen Eswad, telling us all about Simpson opening in the United States. And on that note,